Last day of work. Off for a month and a half. Oh yeah. And the timing of this works out perfectly. Just beautifully perfect. So I'm gonna be off work. My kids are gonna be off school. That may or may not be a good thing, I'm not sure. My wife's gonna be off for a week. Actually that may or may not be a good thing either. I don't know. Jeez, I gotta spend time with her now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be off work for at least a good month. So I've actually got time for myself. And the timing of it, I said it was works out beautiful. It was well let me rewind a little bit. A month ago, Canon announced their a new release. They announced their R7 and R10, which are APS-C cameras for their R mount system. And I immediately pre-ordered the 7, the R7, body only, through Henry's cameras. I I don't know exactly when I missed their call. Uh, I know it's um, it's uh, it's three days after the official release, but they they told me they got it. So I'm on my way now to go pick it up. And I'm excited, you know, I'm I'm coming off the M50 and I really miss having that, um, that DSLR form factor. The M50 is shaped like a DSLR, but it's it's tiny. It's it's small. I mean it's like like that. I've been wanting to jump off of that into a bigger back to a bigger camera. I used to have the uh, Canon T3, that was a fair sized camera. I went from that to the M100 to the M50, and now I'm jumping onto the R6. Sorry, the R7. I did shop around a while ago. I was initially thinking maybe I'll go into the uh, the D90, but the sales guy over there, he suggested to jump into a full frame camera. Uh, he was initially saying, you know, why don't you get the RP? Um, I looked at it. I, I like the feel of the RP. Thing is, it, it felt specs-wise, it was too much like my M50. It, it 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 had a lot of the same disabilities, I guess you can call them. It had some similar features. Uh, it was a it's bigger, and it is a full-frame camera. Sure, that wasn't that big of a jump in terms of capability. The EOS R would have been better, but I didn't have the money for it at the time. And sure, I've got the money for it now. But the R7 is new, and things I never really took into consideration was if I was to jump full frame, I would need to replace all my lenses. Almost all my lenses are for APS-C sensored cameras. I can't afford that, so um, no. So if anyone asks, so why didn't you go full frame? Well, that's the reason. Plus, I'm, I'm not a professional shooter. Like, would I have liked, liked to go jump onto the R, or specifically the R6? Oh well, yeah, I'd, I would love to, but have you seen the price of the R6? The way I look at it now, the R7 is has a lot of the same features as the R6, but you're just getting a smaller sensor. And sure, there's more differences, but it's not. some of those differences aren't that huge, or, or rather, they don't matter to me. And we are talking about like at least a good $1,000 difference between those two just for the body. The only downside right now is that Canon doesn't have, hard, they, they hardly have any um, APS-C lenses for the R mounts. But you know, now that they've got the camera, that's gonna change, well, that should change. The one thing I'm waiting for is for when Canon will actually allow third-party makers to start uh, building RF glass. I have two Sigma lenses, and I use them all the time. I love, I had three Sigma lenses. Now I've got two. I love them. They're they're good for, for my use. For a good budget too. So come on Canon, get on that. So with a month off of work, I'm gonna have a lot of time to play around with this thing. I, I, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do, but yeah, I, I can't wait. Yeah.
first? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was sad, unfortunate the way that we got these. It's like, we should have had these last week. Mm -hmm. They were doing, we're supposed to do a special drop shipment on the weekend. We were supposed to get them on Saturday. Oh, okay. And Pure Later never arrived. So I'm like, ah. Yeah, there's. Customers are waiting for this brand new camera. <laughs> How many things did you guys get in? I'm just going to. You're going to get five. You're the third or fourth person to pick yours up. Oof. I just, I just happened to check my um, my messages like, oh, oh, it's Henry's. Oh, You're good. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Have a good one. Yes. Yes. Bring the funk yes. back. Yes. This is a big box. I wasn't expecting it this big. New camera smell. Warranty oh, card, you know, some sort of app. Manual. Straps. to have something this big again in my hand. Yeah, I, I just heard how that sounded. Gosh, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> A few moments later. Oh, let's go pick up the missus. <clears throat> so I've actually started playing around with this. I like this a lot. I, sure, I have. I don't have the official Canon adapter. I have the the newer gadget, and it works. I mean, it works as, as as far as I can tell. It works just as well. I was a little surprised how much heft. This thing has. Okay, body only. So, body only. My M50 comes in at, well, plus the uh, silicon casing, is 426 grams. A little bit more fair. Six hundred and twelve grams. You can really feel the difference. I mean, like, sure, this is tiny, and I don't know if I could take this game thing off now. I don't remember what the buy felt like. I've had this thing on here for so long. It's very plastically feel to it, but you know, it's it's still solid. Now this, the plastic is nicely textured. But it feels significantly nicer. A whole hand around here. And some people do complain about this. It's only like a slight. I mean, I don't know if maybe they'll eventually come up with a battery grip. I know that um, with battery grips, sometimes they'll have uh, some connections here. You'll see, but there is none here. Or even if it's just like a grip extension. I would appreciate. I, I, I don't think I would need it. It's something I absolutely miss. Being able to do this. I can actually put my eye right up against the EVF. I totally miss being able to do this. Because on the M50, look what happens. My nose 
is almost right up against the damn screen. I don't think Sakura have a big nose either. I mean, what, am I going to shoot like this all the time? No. And this EVF is tiny. It literally just covers my eye. This covers my eye and then some. So I've got a lot more viewing space here. And it's a lot more comfortable as a shooter. I really miss being able to do that. I, especially back in my... Back in my days when I'm using when I was using the old DSLRs. I'm really liking this. I'm I'm excited. I I can't wait to actually use this. Another feature I really appreciate having is having in-body image stabilization, a, a sensor shifting image stabilization. I've never had that. This is my newest camera. Aside from this. This doesn't have it, the M50. And around the time of the release of this, they were starting to introduce it, to introduce this feature. And it would have been nice if this had it. I would have been willing to pay a little extra for it. Like, even if the Mark II had it, I probably would have jumped onto the Mark II, despite the M line being killed off. You know, features that are a bit overkill for me. Dual card slots. Uh, it was it wasn't something I needed. It wasn't something I necessarily wanted, but it's there. I'm not a pro shooter. Like, why would I need redundant for? I, I've never had issues shooting on this. I, I've never lost an image. Nothing got corrupted. It, it's never been an issue. So, right, I've I've got to fill up two card slots now. I've never. Checked my audio. I I I, don't, I never check my audio levels really. So um, having, you know, the headphone jack here, uh, thanks, but that wasn't really necessary for me. Running power off the USB. I, I don't I don't stream. I don't do long form videos. Well, not really. Uh, but yeah, they, that's a good feature for that. This is something I want to try and figure out using the autofocus on using the back button autofocus as a, a shooting method a lot of people swear by it i want to give it a try and i especially want to pick up a um it's the sigma 150 to 600 mil i think it was an f4 f5 the contemporary line that would go great on here i, I think it'll go really nicely on here especially if i'm going to go out and try and get some uh uh, wildlife photography? Oh, man. I, I cannot wait to really play around with this. Oh, I know it's overkill for me, but I really do appreciate this. <sighs> 15 frames per second on mechanical shutter and 30 on electronic? It's way overkill for me, but that is so cool. Yeah, excuse me, I gotta erase all these now. now. That's one thing I wish Canon would do. I don't know if, if I can. At least I have not seen it on any of the systems where you can just, you know, select multiple images to delete instead of going on one by one by one. The video mode I have not tried yet. I got the zebras on now at least. I will give that a try. I think, you know what? Just as a test, I might actually try to redo that video of the, our new car, and I'll, I'll use this instead. And I'll probably do it in 4K um, using C log, just just to play around with with um, with the color grading because I've never done it, or I've never really done it. I, I've I've done a, like, I just. Add some saturation, up contrast, just just the bright, just the brightness. That's really all I did. But adding in LUTs and stuff like that, I've never actually done that. I've never played around with it. So yeah, I've I've got that option now, and it's it. I think it's gonna look really good. Yeah, I I really can't wait to play around with this.
little bit. Good thing this camera's weather sealed. I don't, I'm not sure if the uh, lens is though. Shoot. Okay, after using it for a couple of weeks, I did have one little issue. It's not with the camera itself though, it's actually with the adapter. I don't know if my action cam can see this, but the adapter is a little bit loose, like right around here. And you can see this being an issue when I go to zoom in or, or do manual focus because it loses its connection. You'll, you'll notice if you look at the f-stop, it goes to zero. It goes to F00. Zero, zero. So it lost connection. It will not autofocus. You cannot control the aperture. And it won't even let you take the picture because it's lost its connection. That's so far the only issue I've had with this camera. But other than that, I mean, you guys saw the images. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, I'm no professional, uh, and, and a lot of these were not touched up. Some of them were graded only just the slightest bit. So, you know, you'd be the judge.